Look, we've had a wet summer and cobbler's pegs are coming up wherever you look. They're an edible wild herb, wild food. Everywhere you look. Look at all this. Look at all these cobbler's pegs. That's, in the, that's just a huge amount of free food. Amazing. It can be used as a lovely salad green. I've made other videos before about cobbler's pegs. It can be used as a salad green, just with salad dressing, tomato, whatever, instead of lettuce. But that's a huge amount. It can be made into, uh, instead of uh, spinach pie, you can make cobbler's peg pie. Egg and spinach, cheese and spinach, a cobbler's peg omelette. You can put the leaves in uh, instant noodles. Instant noodles. I remember reading on Wikipedia that this plant is one of on the United Nations list of uh, um, plants for survival, important survival uh, food. Just so much of it, it's all free. Imagine going and paying for spinach. I can hear an angle grinder in the distance. Anyway, we've had two wet summers in a row. That explains why at this time of year there's some lovely green vegetable around. It's all lovely free salad greens or vegetable and it's just free and it's nutritious. In this modern world no one should ever starve. There shouldn't be any more hunger in our world. Look at all that. That's cobbler's pegs. Beautiful salad vegetable. Beautiful boiled vegetable, green like spinach. A forest of the stuff. Now it's called cobbler's pegs because it has these well it has pretty yellow flowers but they have awful seeds that are very sharp like a cobbler's peg. <laughs> they can are oh, horrible, they can jab you and everything, but they're uh, beautiful beautiful greenery, green food. The cobbler's pegs are annoying. They get stuck in your clothes, they get stuck in cat's fur, they get stuck in fur, clothing, horrible. Got to pick them all out. Lots of cobbler's pegs growing there in the shade. Learn to recognise it. Recognise it. And you'll always have free food. Look, it's a few days later. We've had some hot dry weather and the cobbler's pegs are all wilted. So unless there's some rain, they won't come back, be, become juicy again. Now you wouldn't eat uh, spinach from the supermarket like this, would you? You wouldn't because it's not good for you to eat wilted vegetables. That's the same with bush tucker or foraging. You don't eat wilted vegetables. You don't eat wilted cobbler's pegs. That might come back after some rain. But all these cobbler, cobbler's pegs are now wilted and they're not fit to be eaten. They can make you unwell eating um, wilted vegetables, they say, don't they? So it's just something to keep in mind. If it rains again, they might come back to life and put, you know, put the, uh, some nice growth and become healthy and green again. Otherwise they might just die if it stays hot and dry but they're not fit to be eaten. More cobbler's pegs not fit to be eaten. 
and then eat them when they're fresh, green, succulent, juicy. No, not fit to be eaten or wilted. Those cobbler's pegs aren't fit to be eaten, but not too far away. These ones just here are fit to be eaten. These ones must have a little bit more water. These ones still contain some water and juice. See? See ya.